Hello everybody. Today we'll be learning about uh, digitization in QGIS, and after digitization, we'll learn how to use the uh, join table property. Okay? It is one of the very important uh, property in QGIS, but many people feel difficult how to use it. So we'll use it a very powerful tool. Let's get started. So let me add raster layer. This is it. So I want to digitize it. So you you can see there are roads, uh, barren land, open spaces, buildings, and greenery, or any other feature you can identify with. You need it. You can identify and accordingly you digitize it. Okay. By the digitization, we can get them in vector form, the original raster form. Okay. So for that, we need to create a new layer. So go to layer, create layer. We created a geo package layer. Okay, the name would be say land geo. Table name would be land use. Okay. Uh, geometry type we will be having polygon. So what of the field? In the field, we will have land use. Land use ID and the type of the uh, field property would be whole number integer. What are we going to do is uh, look at this uh, notepad file. We are going to assign code 1 for vegetation, code 2 for building, code 3 for road, and code 4 for ground. Okay. So that's why we have chosen integer. And we add to field list. Now I click in OK. Now we are ready for digitization. First of all, make sure that uh, your digitization uh, toolbar is selected. If it's not selected, right click in the empty area of the toolbar and select digitization toolbar. Then you can see this pencil symbol, it's called toggle rating. Click on it as soon as you clean, click it, all the tools get activated. Here is add polygon feature. So click here and you can start digitizing. Okay, I want to digitize this building. Okay. Keep on clicking. Okay, after you are done, right click on it. Okay, this is our building, so we said I give two. Similarly, here is another building. See, digitize it. After finish, right click. It's two. So I want to digitize the greenery. Here is the greenery. Okay. So vegetation is one. So we give one. Uh, let's digitize the road. Okay. And there you go. Road is three. Let's digitize the open space. For example, here is the open space. Click on it. And finish. Right click on it. It's four. You, you can keep on digitizing this. People, uh, you know, many people are employed to digitize. Actually, you can keep on digitizing for time and again. There are a lot of features. And it takes a lot of time. I'm just doing for the sake of convenience. So this greenery. This is one. Some buildings. There you go. Okay. This is so accordingly you can do it. So let me change the color of those features. We know that there are different features. So before that, save it. You can save. Now let's stop the toggle mode and double click on the land use. We want to uh, change the color. Symbology categorize and column would be land use ID and we will classify it. Okay. So, this is it. This is how it this is how we have digitized. And after digitizing, you can 
check the uh, layer look at the attribute table fill id is given land use id is 3 to 1 1 to 4 uh, it doesn't make sense right they are just id assign id but uh, we will say we want to say the one is vegetation two is a building three is a road uh, four is open space so how do that for that uh, this one concept in QGIS that is uh, a join table join table is uh, here's our table in notepad that is csv file uh, in the one field there would be code in the next field it is uh, type so for one for vegetation two for building three for road four for ground so we will be importing this uh, file to QGIS sorry so since it is a csv file i go to layer uh, add layer add the text layer go to the location and open it okay go to metal we select it as csv okay in the file format it is csv and no geometry and you add it and close now look at the attribute table you can see code 1 2 3 4 and type what i'm going to do is i'm going to join uh, this set file with the table and in order to perform the join task uh, you have to make sure that at least one field is common in both say this land use and code in our context uh, the code field in both land use and code uh, is same you could see code here similarly in the land use you check the attribute table you can find land use id it's actually code so these are unique values uh, and uh, they are same in both case so we can perform join uh, analysis so let's double click in land use uh, go to joins so click on this plus let's add symbol join layer will be code within code file this is name don't get confused with two codes one code is name of the uh, the csv file you can name it anything and this code is the field okay the field that is common to our joining layer our target field would be land use id so make sure that join field and uh, target field should have the same value okay. i would click ok apply and click ok now let me check the attribute of land use so you can see a new field has been added here earlier we didn't have this now after performing join analysis uh, the information information of this uh, table has been joined to this save file okay. i hope it was very helpful thank you very much thank you all